NASA is constantly exploring new frontiers by using science and technology to improve our way of life here on Earth. For the past century, the global demand for energy has increased steadily as a result of tremendous population growth and the continuing demands of the electronic economy. However, traditional energy sources such as coal, oil, natural gas, nuclear power and others are either finite in their availability or can contribute to negative effects on our environment. In its search for long-term solutions to the need for affordable and abundant energy in space, as well as on Earth, since 1995, NASA has conducted a series of studies and research to pursue the possible feasibility of space solar power, also known as SSP, as a viable energy source. The conclusion from these efforts to date is that while the technical challenges continue to be daunting, SSP has the potential to help meet our energy needs in space and here on Earth, and therefore merits further research and investigation. The concept of space solar power would require large satellites to be placed in what is called a geostationary orbit, high above the Earth. Once there, where the sun shines almost continuously, these satellites would collect that solar power and transform it. The energy would then be beamed, for example in the form of radio waves, down to large receivers on the Earth. The idea of producing electrical power from the sun is not new, of course. Sunlight has powered hundreds of satellites launched during the more than 40 years since the beginning of the space age. The major difference is that space solar power systems would capture large amounts of solar energy and beam it wherever it was needed, including down to the Earth for our use. NASA has also made great strides in developing some of the technologies necessary to make very large SSP systems a reality in the next 20 to 30 years. This program will allow you to see some of the advances that NASA and a strong team of participating companies, universities, and others have made in recent years. The program will also explain how some of these new technologies go far beyond their use in someday sending solar energy from space down to the Earth. But first, I'd like to introduce you to the man who invented the concept of the solar power satellite more than 30 years ago. Dr. Peter Glazer. Thank you for the opportunity to discuss a subject that has been very close to my heart for 30 years, and that is space solar power, which can meet this century all the requirements for energy on this planet. The way it got started is the realization that we are running out of the availability of fossil fuels. We now know that reliance on fossil fuels is going to create unacceptable global warming. We also know that we have the capacity to go this route and have it ready by the middle of this century to meet most of the energy needs on this planet. Since 1963, I have participated in the U.S. space program, and thus to be able to come up with the concept of solar power satellites, as it was first called, was rather easy for me, because I believe that we have the capacity in the space program to do all the developments that are necessary to demonstrate that we can convert solar energy in space for use on Earth and do so within the next 10 years and then go on to do this on a global scale. The support of the U.S. Congress and NASA was, of course, essential to achieve this. And I'm delighted today that many different countries believe that this is the way to go. It is no longer whether we can build solar power satellite, but how best to build them. And I hope that I will be able to be still of some assistance as this project goes forth and that we will solve not just the technical, but also the economic and societal and, if you like, political problems that this will entail. So good luck 
and let's hope we can achieve it in this century.